Nick Tavanella. And here we go, that's Nick Tavanella at heavyweight for Ohio State. Lytle. Lytle? Lytle, Mimo Lytle doesn't snatch single attack. Tavanella. Lytle fights the box. Lytle, much like uh, Joe Grandomenico, will never forget his last name. Tattooed on him. Tattooed on his, on his back shoulder. Forever. For life. If I ever get a tattoo of my name on my back, I'm going to do it like um, inverted or whatever, so when I look in a mirror, it'll look right. It's right to you. So I don't have to have two mirrors. I got you. Did you get a mustache? Mm, yeah, I have a mustache. Probably. Maybe if you enough money. Yeah. Have a lot. I saw Nick Tavanella at University of Nationals last year take Tony Nelson to the wire. Tavanella is tough. He's what, uh, multiple time state champ from Ohio? Multiple time state champ of the Wadsworth Grizzlies here in the uh, greater Akron area. Uh oh, here we go. Look at this. Lytle trying to lock up an over under. Saw Tavanella try to dip almost like for a fireman's. It's not going to happen. And Lytle is trying to push the tempo here. I like it. I like it early on. Where's, Where's Lytle from? from? You know? Watson, Ohio. Ohio. West side of Toledo, over by the Toledo Airport. Which you will never fly into, Mark. I don't, I don't think I probably will. Well, And you see good movement here from Lytle. He's a little bit more active on his feet. We see him moving laterally. We see him banging on the head. And, uh, you know, you see him stuttering and faking a little bit. So Lytle trying to elevate his game. And this is a Division Three versus Division One matchup here in the state of Ohio. And this Division Three guy's got a little bit of pride. Guys like Tommy Rollins, the Steber brother. Oh, and a shot from Tavanella from the outside. Great job countering by Lytle, but unable to convert it. He sprawled, circled, got the ankle or an angle for just a moment, but lost it. So we got Dancing Bears here, 105 left. In the first period, no score. Tavanello, Mimo Lido. Tavanello, the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Mimo Lido, Kent State University. Getting some fakes and some level changes going on. That's what I'm talking about. You see, he's using good motion. He looks light on his feet. Huh, get it? Light? Uh, uh, but I meant that for real. No pun intended. He, oh, and now as I say that, Tavanella gets on the leg. Over on the edge. On the near side. And he's going to try to drag his toes. No. Nothing. 34 seconds. On the Zero, zero, 23 seconds to go here in the first period. I've seen some pretty uh, interesting heavyweights this year. What do you mean by interesting, Zach? What do I mean by interesting? Yep. I saw the Arizona State guy, and he's uh, Applejack. Is Kyle Calling. He's big? He's strong? Yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's uh, about 300 pounds. And a 1-0 lead early in the second period. Yeah, that guy's interesting. Uh, McClure, obviously, Michigan State. Uh, Adam Kuhn. And uh, Mimo Lytle and Adam Kuhn was a 2-0 match in favor of Kuhn. So uh, Lytle's right there. Just got to find some confidence. Tavanella, obviously, I think, is right there. Rushing with the big time for the Buck. Buckeyes are going to have some pretty good young guys coming in next year. Kyle Snyder. And, yeah. uh, Kyle Snyder, uh, he's more than pretty good. He's really good. He's the best in the world. This other kid from Pennsylvania named Thomas Haynes, he's pretty good. He's not bad. Yeah. And um, what did Dustin Kilgore tell us earlier about Kyle Snyder? Would you mind sharing that? I will if you want. No, he said Snyder's tough, real tough. He said him and Snyder go about 50-50. Yeah, that came right out of Dustin Kilgore's mouth. Four hours ago. Four hours. Maybe five. Maybe five. And I'll be getting Dustin Kilgore's national championship ring to pawn later. 
Yeah, but you have to give up all your firearms. I have to give up a firearm now. Or I can. You can probably pawn the firearm for more than you can pawn the ring. Yeah, it's true. I don't want to pawn anything now. You just want a ring? Well, yeah. I mean, I just tell him, look, there's a bird. Grab his ring and run. Did my hand just go in front of the camera? I don't, I don't want to do that. If it did, don't do it again. Uh, we 22 got seconds left. We got two dancing bears. 1-0 lead. Tavanello, Ohio State. Tavanello snatching a single over on the far side. Has it up in the air. Going to look to take him. And now it's the second time he has that position. This time he scores it. The floor is over here on the near side. It's going to be a takedown for Tavanello. He's going to go up 3-0 with nine seconds to go in the second period. Short time. Can we go get an escape for the Golden Flash? Well, we will. We shall see. So a late takedown there in the second period for Tavano. Gets him a little bit more comfortable lead. He's up 3-0 now as we go into the third. Choice will go to Lytle. He's going to start underneath. Lytle out right away. Three to one. So a takedown will tie this writing time, not a fact. There's only 10 seconds in favor of Tavanello. 145 left in the regulation here in the third period. Nick Tavanello, Ohio State Buckeyes. And that is a Mimo Lytle, Golden Flashes. The dual meet already going to the Buckeyes. 24 to 6, dual score. So it's 7 to 2 right now, you know, uh, match wise. Ohio State bouncing back, trying to go to an 8 2 win after. 8-2 loss, as we alluded to earlier, Penn State match earlier uh, last weekend. So Lionel seems like uh, green. Yes, very inexperienced. But I like his ad I like the way he moves, I like his attitude, he's fighting hard. He's having a tough time getting the right spots at the right times. I'd like to see him and Adam Coon Russell again. And see if that was just, you know, how, how were him and Adam Poon? You know what I'm saying? Because Poon looks like he's on a whole other level. He's just green. Poon, even Poon's green at the college level. Oh, yeah, he's a true freshman. But he's good. 30 seconds to go here in the bout, in the dual meet. A 3 1 lead for Tavanello of Ohio State. Ohio State leads 24 to 6. And it looks like they're going to make that 27 6 if nothing changes in the next 20 seconds. I don't see anything changing here. Mark, Bader Mustache. And uh, 10 seconds remains, 3 1. Looks like Kevin Hill's going to take the 3 1 decision. Four of the Buckeyes takes a shot and he doesn't want to coast. Shoots. Meanwhile, I lost two seconds left. 